along with his adoptive brother Jake the Dog, are the world champions of the Candy Kingdom. Sin's out to keep the kingdom and its residents safe at all costs. Sin is a very loyal and kind person, always giving a helping hand to those who need it. He defeated Orgelurg, who is a primordial monster that existed before time. Most likely meaning he survived the Big Bang, making him spatial universal level. He is comparable to Orgelurg, who is capable of flying into stellar distances in seconds and was also capable of creating a beam that reached a nebula in seconds, making him massively faster than Light Plus. Although inferior, he took a punch from a giant Jake who was slammed into the ground hard enough to break the Ice King's ice and was fine, took several punches from Fern, and could take a slap from the hero suit. Sin the Human doesn't seem like the most intelligent person in the series, but his intelligence ranges far in combat and irregular situations. In combat, Sin is an incredibly talented and gifted fighter. Without formal training, he has mastered several different martial arts styles that he employs against his enemies. He is proficient in several forms of combat, including hand-to-hand, -hand, magic, and swordsmanship. Sin is a very quick thinker. His fear of the ocean forbade him from swimming underwater, so he knocked himself out in order to sink to the bottom of the ocean. As he couldn't use a zombie serum on a group of zombies, he covered himself in the antidote and jumped into the crowd. He is shown to use his enemy's possessions in battle, shown when he used the Ice King's jacket and the giant ogre's large dollar to glide in the air. He was the embodiment of the Catalyst Comet, which can grant someone a new mode of existence that's according to the Interidian being merged with a multiverse, which is infinite in size. The Catalyst Comet hits the Time Room Weapon out the multiverse when Dear Reader, who dreams of the multiverse, wakes up, making her multiversal plus level. Up to Season 5, Finn has serious philosophia or Fear of the Ocean. Particularly tense battles can put Finn in a very violent attitude, making his moment-to-moment thinking suffer. Has very little control or even awareness over his powers or true nature. Overall, even without flaws, Finn Wittens is still a very loyal champion for the Candy Kingdom. Steven Quartz Universe is the son of former rock musician Red Universe and late leader of the Crystal Gems, Rose Quartz. A half human, half gem as a result of his parentage, Steven is an extraordinarily unique being with innate powers beyond that of both normal humans and gems. While only a child, Steven has steadily grown from a tag along to the Crystal Gems into an equal amongst their ranks thanks to his good hearted nature and resourcefulness. Though he is a part of a monumental legacy, Stephen is devoted to fulfilling his destiny as protector of humanity, just as his mother was before him. He is comfortable to gems capable of shattering other gems, which the gems gemstone functions as a pocket dimension. Amethyst in the comics states that their gemstones are King the Light of Wallet but more infinite, and in the episode, a single tail rose, we see Stephen going to Pearl's gemstone and at various points there are visible celestial bodies like moons, stars and even the intergalactic corrupting light. Shattering a gem causes their consciousness to be fragmented across all the shards. This means that any time a gem is shattered your mind, it's fragmented into a finite number of pieces, and since any fraction of infinity is infinity, this means an infinite, and thus the universe-sized portion of each dimension is destroyed in the process, making him multiversal plus level. He is capable of fighting Jasper, who could catch Lapis, who flew from Earth to the gem home world in 30 days, which is located in another galaxy, and later Earth to outside the Milky Way and back to Earth in a matter of days, making him massively faster than Light Plus. He lived through the explosion in a pyramid temple. His shields can block point blank shots from Tyrion's gem warship. 
sees that none of the protect themselves in the other crystal shells when Darren and Shipley entered the atmosphere, crashed and exploded. Stephen is shown to be extremely intelligent in his own right. He is a natural problem solver, as most of his early adventures relied on him using intelligence and creativity to get himself out of trouble without the use of his powers. He is also able to converse with a highly intelligent family on an equal footing since they first met. Despite him being not being socially oblivious in the graphic novel, Too Cool for School, Pearl mentioned how Stephen's education in the care of the gems was much greater than Earth's schools, and Stephen was getting perfect marks on his tests. As a future Stephen underwent additional combat training under Jasper, teaching him a more offensive combat style to contrast his normally defensive style. In this state, he has the pure gem of pink diamond, making him comparable to the diamonds. Each diamond generated one slash three of the energy used to produce a beam that illuminated the sky. He was so fast that Garnet and the other crystal gems could not perceive or react to him and she appeared in slow motion to him. He was able to completely overwhelm and blitz Jasper with his speed. He can scale to the diamond corruption attack that went from home world to the earth in 1.65 seconds. Gem corruption is a tear in the fabric of the gem's mind, which is shown to be literally infinite numerous times. Garnet implies that gems are composed light, leaving the corruption attack scales to their regular speed, making an infinite. In this state, he easily stunned Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, Tasmus, Lapis, Third, Spinel, Yellow, Blue, and White Diamond as well as break free of Lapis's restraints. Third stated that he was stronger than the cluster, which is made up of millions of gem shards and lived in the Earth's core and was said to be able to grow much larger than the Earth when it fully emerged. Monster Steven was able to revert the cluster to its gem state with just one attack. He doesn't have total control over his powers, however, this doesn't seem to be such a problem later on in the series, since Steven has learned how to control most of them and has been able to use them in combat. He can't proof like the other gems and will die if its physical form takes too much damage, like any normal human. His physical body will be heavily weakened if his gem is removed, however, his gem can still return to him unless it is stopped by an outside force. In his monster state, he acts more out of animal instinct. Overall, even with those flaws, Steven Universe still lives up to being the descendant of Rose Quartz. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. This was a pretty close battle. Both Steven and Finn are pretty even in strength and durability. They have some differences like Steven is infinitely faster with more abilities, while Finn is far smarter and more experienced. But there must be a winner and from the information I have gathered, I think it would be Steven. Like I said before, Steven is infinitely faster than Finn and has far more abilities than him. While he doesn't have full control over all of them, he still is more than capable enough to use them effectively. Not to mention, with some simple multipliers, Steven can get higher into multiversal plus levels than Finn. After all, the diamonds are considered so far superior to other gems that the very thought of them being proof was considered laughable, thus they should be superior to Obsidian, who is 80 times stronger than the gems individually. So in conclusion, Steven takes the win for being stronger, faster, more durable, and having far greater abilities than Finn. Total fight time.